So at the end of day four, we have uh, a lot of progress. You can see here that the boiler has been removed. The old gas boiler has been removed. So thank you for the service over the years. You've done a superb job. This was the old radiator from our kitchen, which has been replaced by one that looks almost exactly the same. Uh, heat pump is here. Uh, still needs to do a bit of tidying work underneath the heat pump. Got some gravel that matches the gravel that goes around the side of the house. So I'll put that in place in due course. You can see here that the, uh, that the heat pump itself is still silent because the fellas didn't quite manage to get all the wiring done before having to leave at the end of day four. However, in the garage here, this is where the boiler used to be. Now there's just a, an empty hole and the fellas have capped off the, uh, the gas. Um, oh, I can see here that the celebrations have gone down well. Good work, fellas. Oh yeah, look, no one likes the bounties now, do they? Ugh, gross. Uh, uh, here we have the completed uh, heat pump fuse box. Uh, again, this is presently just off because uh, I've yet to complete the, uh, the wiring and whatnot uh, for the controls. So it's freezing out here, so let's get inside. So inside the house, we have a new radiator in our um, master bedroom, which uh, is a tall one, as you can see. It's a double, and it fits just nice behind our, uh, the door. How's that? That's pretty cool. Uh, there's a new radiator in the kitchen, which looks exactly like the oval um, column radiator that we took out, except it's a double rather than a single. And uh, I also have a new small Stellrad double in my uh, office. Um, so there we go. Still very much a work in progress here. This is what the guys are finishing off today. Um, we've got the um, valent controller, uh, the uh, my connect device and uh, we've got this nice uh, uh sb um, uh, valve there we've got the um, plate heat exchanger on the mixer g and its pump and here is the um the flow uh, sensor for the um, um for the open energy monitor and its, um, its return sensor is, uh, is under the floor. Uh, but yeah, looking good. So we've got all this wired up today. Um, and um, we'll figure out how to integrate the valence with the mixer G. But um, I found the mixer G support people to be excellent. So, uh, so if we do need to speak to them, they should be able to help us nicely. 